Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to find all kinds of great clips. Now enjoy the video. Jen, you remember when you were a kid and you were riding your bike and you come across some gravel? I do. It usually ended up in a big old wipeout and a bloody elbow or knee. Yeah, but you know now there are bike races that are all about gravel. And we have found the granddaddy of them all here in the back roads of eastern Kansas. And when we say back roads, we really mean it. Riders tackle the hilly, tire shredding, sun baked gravel this area is famous for. It's the gravel family. This is Unbound Gravel, the world's premier gravel bike race. Emporia, Kansas is near the geographic center of the 48 contiguous states. It's surrounded by the Flint Hills of Kansas, nearly 10,000 square miles of prairie in America's heartland. And while some cyclists steer clear of a race like this, others make it a yearly pilgrimage. Unbound Gravel isn't just one race, it's a series of races. Three, two, one, go! Be safe, be For younger racers, there's the 25 mile junior division. Adults can race the 25 or 50 mile course. The length increases to 100 and 200 mile routes. All the way up to 350 miles, called the XL, which sets off the day before. So do you think these guys are cool or crazy? Yes. <laughs> Unbound Gravel started quietly in 2006. A handful of riders gathered to test their grit through the Flint Hills. In those early days, no one had any idea it would grow like this. Today, thousands of riders from all 50 states and dozens of foreign countries call Emporia home one weekend every summer. That growth has been extraordinary, and the way with which the community approaches it has been extraordinary, because the first five, six, seven years, people even in Emporia didn't know about us, that it was going on. It was just a handful of riders on the outside of town going on this crazy adventure. There are even professionals who come here to experience what Unbound Gravel is all about. Well, they're coming from the biggest stages of the world, and we're on that platform as well. Those pros say the best part of coming here and racing alongside non-pros is that the experience reminds them why they fell in love with cycling in the first place. They're on the same start line. It's the same same race that they're doing, which I think is another special part about it. Jim Phillips rides his bike everywhere he goes. He doesn't even own a car. But on this weekend, he's getting ready to tackle the XL. 350 miles in a car wears me out. I find it fun, I do. To ride 350 miles continuously, Yes. I mean, without stopping. Well, I may take like a five minute nap in the ditch at three in the morning. That does not count. Yeah. Jim will spend hours on his bike during the race alone with his thoughts. It's such a long experience, 30 ish hours. So you kind of go through everything. I mean, there will be times where I'm just appreciating the sunset, and then there'll be times that I'm crying because I miss my parents. And I mean, you just kind of take this roller coaster, it'll always change. David Chomowitz lives in New York City. He keeps coming back for the grueling 200 mile race. So David, this is not your first ride. You've been here five times. Four. If I finish this one, God willing and the creek don't rise, this will be number five. <laughs> now as a kid, I wanted to avoid gravel yeah, at all costs because gravel meant wipe out. So what's the trick to not wiping out on the gravel? Ride with a light touch. You know, you stay away from that crown in the middle because it's a little unpredictable. Yeah. And as I learned, when I broke my finger, I hit <gasps> that crown and the bike went out. And oh, no. Zip tied it together. You zip tied it together. I was together. with a friend, one of my teammates, and he, he helped me out. He's we like, here, tied it up. zip tie and <laughs> keep going no matter what. Yeah. Marissa and Austin Boaz both love to ride. But with four children, finding time to train can be a challenge. There's a lot of coordinating of who's racing what or around basketball games and everything else. It's just it's a huge juggling act. But I can imagine. Yeah. Gosh, you guys look too young to have four kids. Four kids training for a 100 mile race. When do they sleep? You know, we love it. We love just yeah. the experience of riding our bikes and the added adventure of gravel is so fun that it makes it worth it. So we just work around it. 
Every year, there are more kids and teenagers taking up the sport. There's never really been that many girls, but this year there's a lot more. I'm more nervous about who's in my age group. Yeah, not so much the gravel. Anything's fun if you're on a bike. It's just you're in your own world. I'm excited to see these kids growing in the sport and able to participate in such an incredible weekend. Gravel racing is also growing among adults. First time at this race. We're really excited. I love gravel. It's an awesome experience. I said about a year ago. The biggest thing for me is me against myself and what I can accomplish to see what I'm made of. Of course, every rider needs water, but Kareem explained you got to carry some other important stuff. My back repair kit and my frame bag. That is my medical kit, so in case I fall. Out here, having to patch up you and your bike are real possibilities. The Flint Heels get their name from Flint Rock, which can puncture or slice a tire in no time. Oh, I probably hit one of those Flint Rock. It's not truly an adventure until something goes wrong. And when it does, like a flat tire, riders have to be prepared to quickly fix it themselves on the fly. So what you're going to do is right where that hole is, you're going to stick the very tip of that in there. And I'm, I'm not kidding. You're going to put a little body weight into it. OK? okay? All right. Yep, right over the top of it. Push. Keep going. That's good. A little farther. You almost got it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Now pull it straight out. No more flat. Oh, wow. We just had one of the first flats we ever had on our company van. The next one we have, I think Jan can fix it. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.